and welcome to another FIP Gauges demo. This uh, demo is to show you how to label the buttons within um, our gauges and the labeling is done within spad.next, the actual change of the labels and we provide labeling as defaults but um, you have to program those within spad.next itself. So this is my airspeed gauge and on most of the fitgages.com gauges you will see a little blue LED. Now on this gauge it's down here on the right. The position of the LED is quite important because that shows you the nearest hardware control that activates the menu. Now on some gauges the left and right dials both have a function so therefore I can't use the right dial to engage the menu because it may be something like changing the heading. So on those gauges you'll see the LED will be up in the top left hand corner which will indicate that the S buttons will turn the menus on and off. But on this gauge it's clear that the blue LED is down by the right dial so turning the right dial will spin that to the right and that will bring up the engage menu. Now for activating buttons and button labeling you need the second option in the menu which is side buttons and then you can toggle this on and off using the left dial. Okay, so we'll toggle that on. Now, the labels here are programmed, pre programmed within the gauge itself, and they're just temporary labels so that you've got something to work with and something you can see when you go over to spad.next, and then you can change those labels to whatever you like. So now I'm going to flip over and show you how to actually program these labels within spad.next. Okay, so let's now step into the spad.next part of this button labeling tutorial. Okay, first of all, you just click on the button that you wish to program the label for. Click S1 to edit label one. And now we simply click the button on the bottom right here that says change label. And now we get a nice little spad.next label designer pop-up. It's all pretty much self-explanatory in here, but we'll cover uh, the basics. The label at the top is obviously the actual text that's displayed on the gauge and I'm going to change that right now to say autopilot. Okay, um, you can also change the font to whatever you like. Uh, my gauges do come with a font in the gauge and by default it will use the fonts in my gauge but you can pick a font from your own system should you choose to do that. Font size currently E11, obviously you don't want the font too big if you've got lots of text because the text will then move into your gauge area. You have various different styles, bold, italic and normal and you can also change the foreground and background colours of the label as well. So I've changed that to autopilot, I click on the save and now the first label as you can see has changed to autopilot. Okay so we'll do one more, we'll click on S2 label we click on the change label button. This time I'm going to type in flaps. And I'm going to select a different color. Let's try white. And save. Now we've got a flaps label uh, in white. And last but not least we do one more. Change label. This is an example of a long label. Uh, obviously you don't want your labels to be too long because they will interfere with the gauge. So I will save that and I'm gonna do that in red and save. Now as you can see obviously lots of text uh, means that your labels will go into your gauge. So you need to be careful which font you select and also which font size you select as well so they don't look too messy. Okay, so that pretty much covers the SPAD labeling part of this tutorial and we'll go back to the gauge okay so now we're back into the gauge itself okay so now you can see the labels that i programmed autopilot flaps and parking brakes uh, apologies for the colors being slightly rubbish the uh, that parking brakes is bright red um, and also the labels that we haven't programmed now if i go into the menu and to side buttons as you can see, when the side buttons are turned off now, that the labels that have been programmed in spad.next 
won't turn off. So I'm currently having this little tap, but um, it could be that once you program the labels in SPAD, they will stay on. It's obviously assuming that you're going to be using those labels and you're not going to be turning them off once you've activated them. Should you want the labels to disappear, then it's simply a case of going back into the gauge, going to change label, parking brakes, change label, and we delete. And as you can see, that label has now disappeared. I'm gonna click on S2, change label, delete, and that disappears. S1, change label, delete. And as you can see now, all the labels have disappeared. And if I turn the side labels on, now you can see the default names have come back and they all turn on and off now. So unfortunately, once you program the labels within SPAD.next, you can't actually turn them off within the gauge. Um, you'll have to remove those within SPAD. I'm hoping there'll be a fix for that soon um, and I'll update the video if that is the case. Okay, so that concludes our labeling demo. I uh, hope this was useful. Please check back for our other videos on our channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you.